So yeah, it's totally possible to transform the new Galaxy Tab S9 into a desktop PC capable of emulation, gaming, media playback, and even work. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking the all-new Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 and turning it into a desktop PC. Now this is actually really simple and the new Tab S9 is the most powerful Galaxy tablet on the market. In fact, it's the most powerful Android tablet that's been made so far because it's powered by the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. So we've got more than enough power for gaming, emulation, media playback, and work with this unit. And if you're familiar with Samsung's Galaxy S line, be it their phones or tablets, you also know we have Samsung DeX. So this is something I was super excited about when I got my hands on the new Tab S9 because I knew it was going to perform amazingly. And if you're not familiar with Samsung DeX, basically it's a desktop style interface built into these tablets and phones, at least in the Galaxy S line of products. Now we can actually run this on the tablet's built-in screen, but personally I like connecting this to an external monitor, and we can do this wirelessly, you can cast it, but then it's going to introduce a lot of lag, and it's only going to run at 30 FPS. You can also connect the tablet over USB to a Windows laptop or PC, and you can download their Samsung DeX application. Again, it's still going to have some lag, and it's only going to run at 30, so personally I like using an external display, be it a television or a monitor. And to do that, we will need some sort of adapter. Now, there's a lot of them over on Amazon. This is one that I use on some of my devices, USB Type-C to HDMI. Plus, we've got a lot of I.O. here, like Ethernet and USB. Or a new method, which uh, could come out a lot cheaper, are these Steam Deck docks. Basically, all this is is a USB Type-C hub. We've got HDMI, USB 3, and Ethernet. You can get out really cheap doing it this way. Or you can pick up a smaller adapter from Amazon for around $18. I will leave some links in the description. So I'd say something like this right here. This is actually one that I've tested in the past. It will do 60 watts with the correct charger plugged in to the other USB Type-C port. We've got HDMI out, micro SD card, full size SD card. Really depends on what you want to add to the unit because there's a lot to choose from over on Amazon. But another great option would be a monitor with USB Type-C video in. That's what I'm going to be using, and some of the higher-end monitors can get quite expensive, but I've been seeing a lot of these 24-inch USB Type-C monitors pop up on Amazon. This was down to around $75 a couple weeks ago. There's a $5 coupon, but there's a lot to choose from. I'll leave some links down below. A couple other things I like to use once I have everything hooked up is a keyboard and mouse and a controller. It's really up to you. You can navigate the full operating system using the built-in touchpad on the tablet itself, but having a physical keyboard and mouse is really the way to go. Here we are with my current setup. I've got the Tab S9 just in a little stand. You can pick these up pretty cheap. I personally like using a keyboard and mouse with Samsung DeX, especially when it's connected to an external display. But there is a built-in on-screen touchpad that you can use. It does support multi-touch gestures, and we'll take a look at that in a second. This monitor does support USB, video, and, and 100 watt PD charging out. We can only do up to 45 on the Tab S9, but I really do like this setup because I only need a single cable. And as you can see, Samsung DeX automatically came up on the external display. We can use these separately, and we've got that built-in touchpad. So if you don't have a mouse and keyboard yet, just keep in mind you can navigate DeX from the tablet while it's connected to an external display. Multi-touch and everything. Okay, so jumping right in here, personally, what I think makes DeX really good is the multi-window support. I can go ahead and launch Google Play. We've got it over here. It does have a snap feature, so we can snap to the left and the right. Personally, I do use this quite a bit, especially with, let's say, a web browser over the right-hand side. Got some YouTube video playback on the left, but right now we've just got Google Play and the calculator going at the same time. I've had about 10 apps opened up at the same time on the desktop, and you can switch between them. Not a big deal there. And uh, we do have access to Google Play. After all, this is Android. It's just a totally different interface. And since it's a Samsung product, we also have access to the Samsung App Store. And personally, I don't use it much, but there are some rewards. And it used to be that there were a few apps here that were only available in the Samsung Store, like Adobe Rush, a really awesome mobile video editor but now it's actually over on Google Play, so you can basically download it anywhere. Not much use here for me, but a lot of people do use this. Checking out the web browser, Chrome and uh, Samsung Internet will be fully resizable here. You can set it up any way you'd like. 
Super fast Wi-Fi 6 here built into the Tab S9, so you really don't have to worry about speeds there. And over USB Type-C, you could use an Ethernet connector if you wanted to. And depending on the adapter you use, most of them do come with Ethernet. You get a micro SD card slot, extra USB, so you can add a ton of I.O. to the tablet also. Now when it comes to productivity, usually what I've got going is just a web page doing a little bit of research. We'll just open up Wikipedia over here on the right hand side. When I'm doing research, I like to listen to some music or maybe even have a video playing in the background. So I just uh, have one over here on the left hand side. Got YouTube, Chrome going at the same time. And when it comes to video playback on this device, it'll handle 4K. Now we can only go up to 1440p with Samsung DeX, at least on this monitor here. But this YouTube video is 4K 60fps HDR. I've just taken it up to 4K. Stats for nerds up in the top left hand corner. And by the end, I only had one drop frame. While we're watching this video on the big screen, we could actually do whatever we want on the tablet screen. So if you needed to open up another app here, not an issue. You could even play a game. If you open up YouTube, it'll switch back over to this because we've only got one YouTube app. But you could do Netflix and YouTube at the same time. Not sure why you would want to do that, but it's totally possible here. Either way, the Tab S9, whether you use the internal display or external display, makes for a really great media playback device. And usually, when I travel, I do bring my Samsung tablet to use DeX for photo editing and light video editing. But when it comes to photo editing, I do use Photoshop Express. Unfortunately, we don't have a more robust Photoshop on Android. If we were using an iPad, we could definitely get by a lot easier. But unfortunately, Adobe has kind of left this out of the loop. And there are tons of photo editors on the market that might work better than this. I just personally have used Photoshop for so long. That's kind of my go-to. But yeah, I mean, it does work. And I really wish we could get some threes that look like this. It would be awesome. If you know, you know, my favorites are the court purples. So you can do a little bit of photo editing and video editing here. LumaFusion is available for Android. I personally haven't tested it on Android yet. But I've been using Adobe Rush for a few years, and uh, this does work out really well for some light video editing on the go. And with this new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, even scrubbing through 4K video on Adobe Rush is really quick, so I actually might pick up LumaFusion to test it out on this new chip. Adobe Rush is great to get started with, and it's actually free to use, so that's one of the big reasons I've always utilized it. But it's not going to be as feature-packed as something like Premiere or even LumaFusion. But for light video editing, let's say a family vacation, you want to put something together real quick, it comes in really, really handy, especially on a bigger display like this. So yeah, I mean, you could definitely get some work done, photo editing, a little bit of video editing, but my main use case scenario, or at least my favorite thing to do here with Samsung DeX connected to an external display is game, be it native Android games and especially emulation. So you can connect an Xbox controller, not a problem. Basically any Android controller is going to work. Here's Diablo Immortal, high settings, 60 FPS, running super smooth. And the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 can handle any native Android game. I mean, you're going to have a great time with this, even Genshin Impact. I would test it out here, but unfortunately they haven't added controller support, so it's a bit hard to really play it on an external display. But something like Call of Duty Mobile is great with an Xbox controller, and it looks fantastic on this external display. High settings, 60 FPS, and the uh, Tab S9 hasn't been whitelisted yet for running at 90, but with DeX, I've actually only been able to go up to 60 and 1440p, you know, with the uh, base resolution of DeX itself. Either way, I think it plays great here, and the fact that we do have full controller support really makes it a great game to play. Now, aside from native Android gaming or cloud gaming using something like GeForce Now or Xbox Cloud Gaming, my absolute favorite thing to do here with Samsung DeX is emulation. And the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 can handle basically everything. This will even run Switch games. Check out God of War 2. We are using the Ether SX2 emulator. Vulcan back in. 3X resolution. This is fantastic. And of course, if you wanted to go with easier to emulate systems, PSP, N64, you want to do some Sega Saturn, this thing's going to run it great. And uh, from PSP, you can even go up to 10x with some of the games. God of War, Chains of Olympus for PSP, 5x, 60 FPS all day long, no hacks at all. So overall, I've been having a great time with the new Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. And just keep in mind, if you did want to opt for the S9 Plus or the S9 Ultra, you're going to see the same kind of performance. You're not going to get better performance than you saw in this video because they're all using the same chipset. And even if you went with 16 gigs of RAM versus 12, which we have here, 
you'll see the same frame rate throughout when it comes to gaming. Basically, more RAM would allow you to open up more apps at the same time, but if you keep your Android installation nice and tidy, then you're fine with 12. I mean, we've got more than enough on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. Definitely the most powerful tablet on the market right now, and of course, next generation is going to be more powerful than this. That's how technology works. But if you're looking for the best of the best right now, then the Tab S9 is definitely the way to go. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you're interested in learning more about this tablet, I will leave some links in the description. You can actually pick it up from Best Buy, Amazon, or even Samsung's website. And I'll also leave some links down below to where you can pick up some USB Type-C to HDMI adapters. I've tested out a few on Amazon and, you know, the ones that worked well for me. I'll just leave some links there. But if there's anything else you want to see running on this, just let me know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.